So there is good and bad news. We have been continuing to work behind the scenes on sort of the drawers. We've, I've not really filmed it a lot because it's really just been super bitty, just literally like an hour here and there. So it's not been super interesting for people to follow, but we have got all the plywood drawers ready and in, but the original plan was to use the drawer fronts and wood from my grandparents' cabinet as the drawer fronts. But the bad news is I don't think that's going to work for a few reasons. So let me show you. So because the original unit had six drawers with two handles, they weren't wide enough to make two drawer fronts out of them. But the difference between this original drawer front, obviously apart from the fact that this is really nicely finished and stained, and the other bit of wood is just the thickness. So that in and of itself wouldn't have been completely horrendous but you can also see like just the difference in color obviously i can sand this down like you know rework it restain it that kind of thing but obviously you still continue to have the difference so as you can see you kind of have two weird wood colors there obviously these aren't the right thickness but they just don't quite work basically what we're probably going to do instead of using these is we're going to be using that same color blue that we use for our unit so we're going to order this wood um with this blue finish and just make these plain blue drawer fronts for all of these drawers in that blue that we have already and then we still will use the hardware from the original cabinets that my grandparents had it kind of makes me sad not being able to use the like original wood but also i'm not gonna get rid of it i think just to save us like a huge amount of headache a huge amount of pain this is just the easier most elegant option and i think it's gonna look better for this particular project because you know i'm already mixing a different color wood and a different color like worktop a third and a fourth color wood i think it's just gonna feel really mismatched and a bit odd so we're gonna go with the blue and I'm gonna keep the drawer fronts for a project that I'll probably do inside my house because I do too many projects. <laughs> so here is sort of like all of our drawers ready to go. Overall, they work pretty well. As you know that we've had to compensate on the fact that they don't fully extend out. So we can't have like the divisions through the middle here. We probably will change the runners eventually to one that do fully extend. But for now, budget wise, this makes more sense because the other ones were out of stock. So this is still a really good size. And obviously we have two different sizes of drawers. We have the deep ones, which basically is the depth of my hand. And then there is these ones, which are slightly shallower, which is kind of useful because that gives us quite a lot of space for different parts but i think the blue and the brass antique handle together with sort of the wood worktop is going to look so fancy and actually i'm really excited for it what we're probably going to do with the drawer as well is have this and then either above or below it have one of those vintage like apothecary name tag things so i can kind of add on a little piece of paper what is in the drawer roughly hello i'm actually at work right now but there's been a very exciting development so with our delivery for the stuff that we're building today we also got our drawer fronts look they're so beautiful so we've got all the different sizes we've got two of these like slightly bigger ones the smaller ones here and ollie's gonna install them tonight as a surprise this is the idea for them oh, looks so good ah test done they're all marked let's go i'm really excited before i show you what it ended up looking like i just want to say the next thing is my first reaction because my sister was visiting after this really long job we finished super late and ollie was insisting on like installing all of these drawers um, and i was inside with my sister so yes they're not quite finished but i'll talk more about that in a minute after the reaction and the reveal <laughs> hope you enjoy it I'll show you tomorrow with like the proper light because at the moment it's, it doesn't look as blue as it really is in real life but I just love it I just love it oh it's so beautiful can't believe it can't believe it I'm so happy with the end result it's so nice as you may have been able to spot it's pretty obvious we're still missing one handle and four label holders this is because we do have the backing plate and the actual handle itself 
but there is two little things that attach the handle and we can't find them. Um, I, th I think it's probably in the van and if it's not in the van, it's probably in the garage, but we have to still find them. If we can't find them, we'll probably buy a replacement. They're quite easy to replace. And also we only had 20 of those label holders. So there are still four in order and then we can just finish that off. But I am beyond excited. It's so fancy. I think those handles really make that draw. It's honestly like exactly my style. And I think having those drawer fronts done really makes this room feel like it's just me in a room like everything there is like quirky different colorful it's just so my style i really love it i think when i very first started out with this building project i very much said i want to not have this be ikea i want this not to be white and i think i've definitely accomplished that what I am planning on doing, there's a few more little videos of some bits that we did in a room and then we're probably gonna do like a full reveal thing, which requires me to actually have the room ready in a sort of presentable state, which we'll do. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of a reveal. And I also kind of want to make a video with like, kind of talking about the process, ups, downs, things we've learned, tips we may have. So there's probably gonna be like a frequently asked questions or Q and A about the Lego room build at the end as well. So. The content about the Lego room has not yet finished. I know maybe some of you are bored with it, but this is probably one of the most exciting projects that we've done on it recently. So I really wanted to share it with you. I am slightly short in time at the moment actually doing Lego stuff, but I will be back in a video as soon as I can, as soon as I've done something cool and interesting and new, which at the moment I'm working on some mocks. There is just a few little things. I just need a little bit more time. However, I'm trying to do my streams on Sunday. So if you are ever around on a Sunday evening, do come pop in and say hi. I will try to have as few IT issues as possible, though I am known for having a lot of IT issues during my streams. I don't know why. I honestly am trying. Um, alrighty. Well, thank you very much for being here. Um, I'm hoping you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon, guys. Goodbye.